Hi there fellow juicers, fellow cleansers. Um, today is the big day, so it's day one of the cleanse. And everyone should be starting off their morning with their green lemonade. And I'm pretty excited to get started. I've been feeling a little achy and snuffly this morning and I think it's the weather change. Um, it's supposed to be a little bit cold and rainy here in Portland, so um, I'm thinking of mixing the turmeric uh, juice and the raw miso with a little bit of warm water just to warm myself up throughout the day and um, really like soothe the sickiness I'm feeling. Um, so that's what I'm doing for myself, but we should all be taking care of ourselves throughout this time. So it's going to be super important to stay hydrated. I know that's really hard when it's cold, but um, anytime you finish a juice, a good rule of thumb is just to fill that same glass jar up with water and finish that before moving on to another one. And try and rest and relax. So tonight you want to try to get seven to nine hours of sleep. Um, this is just a good rule of thumb in general. When you wake up rested, you're set throughout the day. People that sleep more throughout the night tend to consume less calories throughout the day. So it really starts the day before. Uh, make sure that you're avoiding strenuous exercise. Um, these next three days aren't the best time to go out and start doing your marathon training or taking these really heavy cardio classes or weightlifting classes. This is more of a time for slow and, fo slow and flow yoga, meditation, walks, um, maybe um, a light bike ride, that sort of thing. Um, and on that note, just take a stroll and just think about where you are throughout this cleanse and where you are in life and try and find some balance there. Um, stretching is very much recommended um, and that can be guided stretching through yoga or just laying out in your living room <laughs> and <laughs> stretching out a little bit. You're also going to want to listen to your body throughout this cleanse, see what it wants, see what it doesn't want, um, and just following your intuition there. You're also going to want to help your body detox, and that will most likely come physically through um, consuming lots of water, getting plenty of rest, and that's going to help your body detox. Maybe getting a little bit of a sweat on might be beneficial. Um, your skin's a huge detox organ, and sweating's a great way to release toxic toxins. So if you have access to a sauna or a hot yoga studio, those are two really great places to get a little bit of sweat going. If you're feeling any symptoms of constipation, this might be a good time to start incorporating some psyllium husks, chia seeds, or flax seeds. And you just mix those with a little bit of water till they get gelatinous and then drink those and that should um, help with the constipation. Throughout the next couple days, if you're feeling any withdrawal-like symptoms, um, these are typically signs of detoxification. They're perfectly normal, um, but keep in mind that everybody is different, so some may experience these symptoms, some may not, and everyone's different, so that's totally fine. Whatever you're feeling, give yourself the right to feel it. It's, it's okay. Um, you might experience headaches, sweating, achy joints, moodiness, and these tend to occur only on the first couple days. If it's extremely severe, um, you might have to stop the cleanse um, and start inc incorporating some whole foods and then you can just hop back on and continue with the juices. Um, but typically by day three, um, your body's adjusted and people get used to it and they're, your body's more accepting of the new routine. And that's all I've got for today. Good luck everyone um, and happy cleansing!